Let's talk about the Apex Touring Tank Bag with a hydration pack from Viking Bags. If you haven't heard of Viking Bags, that's probably okay. They are a brand that has catered primarily to the cruiser and bagger space. They were putting the bags in baggers. So they started around 2007, 2008, uh, creating luggage by hand for, for bikes, creating saddlebags out of leather and things like that. They progressively moved up into creating more advanced luggage, hard cases, things that could lock, things like that. So if you wanna go see some of the history themselves, I've got links to their website, to the product down below. Uh, but now more recently, they have moved into an adventure lineup, uh, which is a line of soft bags, tank bags, tail bags, uh, some other side bags that you can put on your bike that can fit all types, not just cruisers. So standards, sport, sport touring like mine or adventure bikes. And today we're gonna to look at the Apex Touring Tank Bag with Hydration Pack. So full disclaimer, they did send me this bag for free and in return asked for a review on this. So I've had this bag for uh, several weeks now, taking it on a couple trips, one really long one to the solar eclipse. <laughs> uh, also been commuting to work with it. So I've really got to put it through its paces um, and see its practical usage. Again, they did not pay me to say anything, tell me to say anything. They said, just review it. So they have not seen this review prior to the video release. So hopefully by the end of this, maybe I can still work with them. But at the very least, if there's anything to nitpick, they'll just take the feedback and move forward. Now remember, this is just my opinion on this. Uh, there's several other opinions out there. In fact, if you want another opinion about one of their products, uh, check out my buddy Yanto. He is also doing a review on one of their products as well. So if you want someone else's opinion on what they have to offer, go check out his channel and be sure to subscribe to him as well. He's a good dude. He's smart. So initial impressions when I unboxed this was I was very impressed with the build quality. It didn't seem like anything too lavish, but it also certainly wasn't budget. It's a very good material, feels very sturdy. The zippers uh, work very well. They have nice handles on them to grab. And it comes with several different compartments. So it has this initial, like, uh, what do they call this? A beaver tail with a couple small pockets and a hook for keys or what have you. A smaller outside pocket with several mesh zipper pockets inside where you can store a bunch of small little items. Uh, it is also good that they have this red background liner so that it makes it easier to see things in here. We have your main compartment where you can store bigger items. It comes with one big mesh pocket as well. A little bit of space is taken up from this uh, other pocket which holds the rain cover, which we'll look at in just a minute. And then the last major compartment down here at the bottom holds the hydration pack. Uh, on the outside, there's also this molly webbing where you can attach some things. Now, for those of you familiar with bike luggage and tank bags and things, you may say this looks familiar. Um, this does look very, very similar to the Nomax tank bag from uh, Moscow Moto. I don't know if they had the same designer. I don't know if they licensed the, the design. I know that Moscow is on like its third iteration, so maybe this was a previous design that they, whatever. All I know is that they share a lot of DNA, um, so do what you will with that information. So again, my initial impressions in unboxing this was that the materials were, were very solid. It did seem like a quality item. And out of the box, I think you're looking at a MSRP of around the $170 mark, uh, depending upon if this is on sale or not. So it comes with several different pockets for organization, the hydration pack. It also comes with backpack straps. The good thing about these straps is they're pretty wide, so it's gonna help distribute that weight and pressure um, across your shoulders instead of just one single line. And also they are a mesh design, so a little bit of breathability in there as well. So this is a great option if you're wanting to take this off, uh, take it on a hike or something like that. Uh, it's really kind of a convenient thing that several tank bags do, do, but this I think has been executed pretty well. The only downside to this is when you're not going to be using it as a backpack any longer, stuffing the straps back in, it's really kind of a bear. So if you're taking this on and off your bike a whole lot, I think it might be a little taxing. If you're, if you're just gonna take it off once or twice, it is a nice feature to have. Maybe go somewhere, take it off once, and then go back home. Hey, 
As far as the mounting goes, they send it with a front harness that goes around the front part of the frame of your bike, the steering stem, and it also has some rear mounts that you can zip tie on the back of your frame. Now this is my first experience with a strap mounted tank bag. I'm not really a fan of the zip tie method. There's kind of some permanence to it uh, in that they're always gonna be on there until you cut them off. And then when you cut it off, you have to get more zip ties. I don't know, but that's kind of the standard thing. I guess it is what it is. They did send some white or clear zip ties, which I basically put those to the side and I use my own black zip ties to tie in because most motorcycle frames are black and I don't want white zip ties sticking out, but whatever. So I got that mounted. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the front harness around the front part of my bike because I have a Versus 1000 and the frame on this bike is really, really big. The front harness would not go around the frame of the bike. And I was wondering, how am I gonna mount this thing? I ended up having to run the strap under a couple of bolts that hold the fuel tank on. And while that was an inconvenience at the time, I did find it allowed me to mount the bag back a little bit so that I could still get to my fuel tank. So maybe a blessing in disguise. So there was a little bit of this kind of, I guess we'll say frustration or kind of just heavy sigh at the mounting, but once I got it done, it was okay. Maybe with the front harness strap that you have to put on, if there was a little bit more length that you could add to it or maybe some additional straps to extend it for bigger bikes, I didn't have any problems with it over a thousand mile trip. I didn't have any problem with it commuting to and from work several days. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. So that was a good thing as well. So let's move on about the weather protection in here and its rain cover. So like many other tank bags or tail bags, it comes with a rain cover that you open up, you put over it, and then you use the drawstring to just tighten it up. Uh, it is clear on top so that if you have anything um, mounted on the top of your bag, a map, directions, things like that, uh, you can still be able to see them. Now, I did actually get to put this to good use on the way back from our solar eclipse trip. We were riding in the rain from Nashville, Tennessee to Atlanta, Georgia, and it was raining pretty much the whole time. This thing did its job very well. None of the contents uh, directly on top got wet or rained on. Uh, actually, you know, very good marks for their rain cover. So now let's move on to, I guess, what would be kind of the standout feature of this. Uh, they advertise it as a hydration pack. Spoiler alert, I found that to be the biggest fail of the bag. Here, here's one of the big reasons that it was a fail. On this side right here, it does have a small zipper that opening where you can run the tube out, which is great. It can run around, it can get on these clips on the bag to hold it in place and then you can pull it up and use it while you're riding. But the thing with having the zipper on this side at the bottom, the tube on the bladder goes this way. So when you're trying to put it in there, you have to run the tube and then bend it back down and then go out this way. And it's putting a lot of torque and pressure on the bag, twisting it up inside. So as I was saying, the bag has a zipper on this, what would be the right side as you're looking at it. But the bladder itself, the tube goes straight up. And what happens when you start to twist the tube over that way? It starts torquing the bag and doing all sorts of twisty stuff. I was not a fan of that. It does seal up with this, I don't know what you even call this. It's like a slider thing where you fold over the top and then slide this on. I can confirm that it does actually seal the water really good. The thing is, is when this is full of water, and you're trying to fold it over and slide this thing on and all that stuff with water in it, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, and the last thing is inside the pouch that holds the bladder, there's a little tab that can go through here and supposed to hold this upright so it doesn't slouch down, but that thing just keeps popping out and it just slouches down. So with those flaws and me not really desperate to have a hydration pack, this big fail, so I didn't even use it at all on my trips and I don't intend to ever use it. Until they can fix that and make it a bladder that actually fits in this bag and works with this bag, I, I don't see a reason to be using that. And maybe a sign of that is the bag did come with a little red H2O on here, but the two and the O is rubbed off. That seemed like some unnecessary branding. I don't know why it was there. 
So to wrap this thing up, we have about a $170 tank bag. It's really good for people who want to use all the compartments for organization. You could probably even use this as maybe a first aid kit, tire pressure monitor, a utility knife, snacks, and put these things all in different compartments. So if that's what you're looking for, this is definitely something to look at. And again, at its price point, you are going to find tank bags that cost significantly more, and there will be some that do cost less. So I think this is a good, I don't wanna say budget option, but it is a very price friendly option with a lot of features and a good quality build. I would give this a solid B rating. Uh, there's definitely areas it could be improved on. That hydration pack for one, it's kind of worthless, but the build quality is good. The organization is good. The strap mounting, once I figured it out, uh, was pretty good. The backpack, again, is a nice touch to have. If that's good for you, it seems stuffing it back in was a little bit of a hassle. So if you have any questions or comments about the Apex Touring Tank Bag from Viking Bags, drop it in the comments below um, and I'll be sure to check it out and see what I can answer for you. Also, don't forget to check out Yanto's video coming up. You see another viewpoint on their products. Uh, again, in summary, I think for the price point, uh, of about $170. I would want the bladder, the hydration pack, to be a little bit more functional and work in conjunction with the bag rather than what seems to be a generic bladder just put in there to fill it in. Uh, but overall, a solid, solid quality bag, good materials, good organization, good rain cover, and easy to mount and use. So for more information, check out Viking Bag's website. I'll have a link to that in the description below. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.